I don't think I am inspirational. I just kind of get on with things how I feel like I should. I'm just an everyday kind of gal that has just played the hand that I've been dealt. Tess is a fun person. She's easy to be around. She's funny. She's annoying. She's a princess. Without her, everyone's life would be crap. At 18 months old, Tessa's parents took her to the doctors because she wasn't crawling or walking. They actually told my parents I was a lazy baby. I then had a muscle biopsy and they found out that I got spinal muscular atrophy type 2. It's a muscle wasting disorder. It makes me incredibly weak. I can't stand or walk. And ever since then, I've been in a electric wheelchair. Although she's fiercely independent, Tess has help every day with certain tasks from her personal assistants. I pretty much rely on my team of PAs for all my personal health care, hygiene care. I depend on them for everything. I don't see that it really does impact me, if that makes sense. I just kind of get on with things, but in a different way to what everybody else would, I suppose. When she was in school, Tess had wanted to pursue a career in fashion. My hand decided to give up on me during my GCSEs. Drawing was out the window. So then, if I couldn't draw and make and design the clothes myself, I decided that I could creatively direct and be involved in that way. I threw myself into it, making contact with photographers, models, makeup artists. Did that for a good number of years and then decided it was actually turning into more of um, an expensive hobby rather than a career. That was when Tess found a new outlet for her passion. All through this time, I'd been following lots of bloggers on Instagram, lots of social influencers, beauty influencers. I decided that, you know what, I actually kind of think that's really cool. One day, I deleted all the pictures of burgers, pictures of my dog, pictures of my family off my Instagram and turned it into something that would be a little bit more interesting to people that are interested in fashion or makeup. And I've slowly grown from there. I'm still trying to get into the whole YouTube world. Hi everyone. So this is my first ever YouTube video. I said I was never ever going to do one of these because to be honest, I was a little bit scared too. That feels <laughs> so weird. That is a bad start. All right, wait, let me start that again. When Tess started blogging, we didn't really think it was going to get anywhere. And then she's got more into it, put more time in uh, and was dedicated to it. And then bam. Tess now has over 100,000 followers on Instagram and she's been impressing people with her makeup skills. My unique selling point is centered around my disability and the fact that it is quite unusual to see somebody with a disability dressed how I do and with makeup. I would let Tess do my makeup every single hour of the day. She does my eyes. I always ask her how to do my eyes. I message her when I'm going out and say, please give me some inspiration. She's my go-to. She's all my friends go to. I do my own eyebrows, my own eyes, my own lips. My PAs do help with my skin. So when I employed them, they had to be aware that they were going to learn to be makeup artists in their spare time. It does take quite a while to do. It's a lengthy process. As Tess prepares for today's YouTube video shoot, her hairdresser Daniel has come round to help put the final touches to her look. Tess today we're doing sort of like a soft beachy wave. Well, I've followed Tess from the beginning when she had maybe about 10,000 followers. So it's been really fun because I've seen her grow. I love Tess's look. She changes it up all the time. That's what I love about it, it's so creative. I am very proud of her and honored to be one of her friends and not just a hairdresser. <laughs> and the more followers Tess gets, the more comments she gets. I receive an overwhelming amount of support and love and really nice, confidence-boosting comments. However, I do get some quite funny negative ones. I've been asked if I was pregnant, I've been called a doll, I've been called a dwarf. We've had some crackers. I don't generally hide away from trolls. Um, I like that word, troll. The way I see it is people need schooling. They need to realise that they cannot go around saying this stuff to people and getting away scot-free. 
they've got to be held accountable for their actions. And I'm just the kind of girl that will go around and do that for them. The makeup that I've put on today only took me about half an hour, 45 minutes. However, if I'm going all extravagant and putting false lashes on and crazy cut crease eye makeup, it can probably take me like two hours. I just can't reach far enough to get the extremities of my face. With her fearless online presence and growing fan base, Tess has been able to use the power of her social network in another way. The Bionic Arm isn't something that was actually readily available on the NHS, so I had to fundraise for that. And I did that through crowdfunding, just through my own network. But I actually set myself a target of a few weeks, maybe in a few months. However, within five days of putting it on my Facebook page, my amazing support network around me actually raised double the amount that I needed. It still makes me a little bit emotional to think about it now, but just came together and gave me the money. There we go. The arms improved my life in a great number of ways. I don't actually wear it out of the house because it's quite big and cumbersome, and I'm already a spectacle enough without having this rod stuck on the back of my chair. Like, I'm sat now and I can't actually move my arms higher than probably an inch off my lap. So the arm, I can raise my, heart, my hand over my head, I can scratch my nose, I can pick it if I want to pick it, I can feed myself, and that might not sound like a big thing to an, an everyday average person that can do all this, but it's life-changing. Scratching your nose is life-changing. <laughs> And the mechanical arm isn't the only way that Tess's life has changed. I would say that Instagram blogging has changed me a little bit. It's given me a lot more confidence. I mean, I had oodles of confidence before anyway. I've never been particularly lacking in that department. A lot of people with disabilities have actually contacted me and told me that I've changed things for them or I've made them see things differently. I've given them confidence. I usually hate the word inspirational. However, I'm slowly accepting that, to some people, actually, I probably am a little bit inspirational. I would like to see Tess achieve world domination, either a, a business to do with makeup or, you know, a clothing line. You know, something that she's really passionate about. I seem to have gained a bit of momentum in what I'm doing. I feel like I've pushed myself further than I ever thought I was going to get. I'm actually wearing one right now. This, In terms of my own boundaries and my own confidences, I've pretty much smashed those boundaries and barriers. I want to keep reaching people and I want to keep inspiring. I never thought I'd say that. <laughs>